a family working to turn a devastating personal tragedy into change. The family of Gabby Petito, the young woman who was found killed after vanishing on a trip last summer, talking healing during the holiday season. Will, you spoke to them just as they're preparing for their first Christmas without Gabby, and they're finding ways to use their heartache to give other families hope. Yes, and I came away from that conversation with a heavy but hopeful heart. The Petito family has endured such pain and exposure on a wound still so raw, yet rather than retreat, they're using their platform, fighting for other missing people and sharing their stories and their own, which this Christmas is one of finding a reason to press forward. When Gabby Petito's family goes to sleep tonight, they know waking up without their daughter for the first time on Christmas Day, like every other day, will hurt. You look back and you remember those moments and how great they were, you know, but it's, it's tough every day. 22-year-old Petito went missing during a cross-country trip with her boyfriend, Brian Laundry. She was later found dead near Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Now, her parents are turning tragedy into purpose. I don't want to see this happen to another, another person. Um, I know that we can't save everybody, but I think that this just awareness alone is, is giving people the strength. Petito's parents, Joe and Nicole, and step-parents, Tara and Jim, established the Gabby Petito Foundation with a mission to fight domestic violence and find missing people. Already donating $50,000 to three similarly devoted organizations, including the National Domestic Violence Hotline. The hotline says in a little over two months, they've been able to help over 300 people who contacted them after visiting the Petito Foundation website. We're trying to make those changes and help areas that, you know, that where there are voids that need to be filled. We can even be a small piece of a support network for somebody else in a similar situation and, and try to just help them get through it. That's, it, it goes a long way. I think a lot of folks would understand if in the aftermath of everything you've been through, you all decide to shun the world and shut in and just focus on yourselves, but you haven't done that. And I wonder why. We have our days where we just need to shut down and take a moment. But the whole goal is to is prevention and helping other young people. So where are you all in the process of finding some sort of closure? You're not going to get it. Yeah, there is no, none. That's never going to happen. Is there anything you want Gabby to know? I want her to know that I'm proud of her. Um, We, she's doing a lot of good and she's touched a lot of people. We hope that we save lives and in Gabby's name and because of what happened to her, that um, that gives us a lot of hope. Gabby's mom told me she's found resonance in the final line of a poem that reads, you don't just lose someone once, you lose them every day for a lifetime. That is tragically the reality that Gabby Petito's family will face on Christmas day and each day after that but they know they're not alone in their grief this holiday season. And I asked them if they might have a message for others who are hurting right now. It's a hard time of year for many people for many reasons, they said. So be kind to yourself and there is help out there. I mean, well, just amazing. It's so soon after, and they're able to do this and turn to hope. I mean, really incredible people. Thank you so much for bringing and, that. And yeah. Will, it, it was hard to see them breaking down that emotion. So I bet it was really hard for you being there talking to them, feeling that. Yeah. So really, thank you for bringing that to us and I'm to them. Glad to share their message. It's very important. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.